835 and Congressman Greg Stanton is urging state leaders to take immediate actions to contain the coronavirus here in our state. The three actions include using federal CARES Act funds to expand lab capacity, developing a contra contact tracing plan and mandating face coverings across our state. Congressman Stanton joins us now to talk about these actions a little bit more. Good morning to you. Thank you for being here. Good morning. It's uh, good to be with you. I just learned those numbers as they were uh, announced just a few minutes ago, and I mourn for the loss of uh, 117 of our fellow Arizonans who died just in the last 24 hours yeah. from this horrific uh, virus. The numbers are devastating and overwhelming. Yeah, it's a lot to take in uh, day to day, that's for sure. Let's talk about these three things that you're speaking of more specifically. The first one to expand lab capacity. It's so necessary. Look, Arizona, for reasons unknown, decided to delay significant testing. We were 50th in testing for so many weeks during this uh, during this crisis. We didn't gear up testing and we didn't gear up lab capacity so that the test results could come back much more quickly. Sadly, now we're paying the price. It now takes 10 days to two weeks to get your test results back. We just heard how devastating that is in a hospital setting. But imagine also for the ability to do contact tracing, which is critically important for us to stop the growth of this virus. We can't effectively do contact tracing if the test results are taking that long to come back. And so my message to the governor and to leaders of the state of Arizona is use the money that Congress has provided you. We provided almost $2 billion to the state of Arizona to help fight this virus. 400 million of that was put into a rainy day fund. No need to put that money in a rainy day fund. Spend the money to build additional lab capacity now. Work with the private labs, even work with out-of-state laboratories so that we can get those test, re back, test results back much more quickly. It is hugely Im uh, important. So that's one key element of the plan I put together yesterday. And my advice to the governor and state leadership about what needs to be done right now uh, to help fight this crisis. Yeah, and a better plan for contact tracing. And let's talk about the face coverings because uh, that has become... Uh, quite the political uh, statement now, and, and people are either okay with it or very much against it, and you would like to mandate this across our state. I was the first uh, elected official in Arizona to say we need to do a statewide mandate on the face coverings, and the reason is simple, science. Uh, medical professionals tell us that wearing the mask is the number one thing you can do to, to not get the virus yourself and not pass on uh, the virus. And so for too long, this was treated as a political issue. Political leaders were unwilling to take on people that thought that not wearing a mask was somehow their political right or a right. message about freedom or something. And as a result, Arizona is now um, the highest growth state in the country when it comes to this deadly virus. People didn't have the political will to do the right thing for public uh, health. Uh, we should we should have done it a long time ago, but absolutely we need to do it now. Not all of the state is covered by the mask mandate. We saw in Prescott just over the weekend there was a large rodeo uh, gathering and thousands of people were there without masks, still potentially spreading this virus very uh, quickly. So we need to get over whatever political concerns people have and do what's right for the public health, for my family, my kids, my father, and all of the family members that are out there of the people uh, watching. It's what we owe to each other. And, and yes, we need a contact. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, C Congressman, I, we only have just a few seconds left. I do want you to tell me, if you can, very quickly how you would like to see our governor move uh, forward as these numbers are coming out and to stop this spread. You have kids. I'm not sure if uh, how you feel about them going back to school, but what is the next move we should make to stop the spread of this virus here in Arizona? Well, that's exactly why I put out my statement yesterday, giving specific advice to the governor and other state leaders about what needs to be done now. We blew it. We wasted time, precious time. Arizonans sacrificed during the shutdown period. And I am so angry that state government and state leadership did not prepare for the reopening uh, properly. And as a result of lack of preparation, we are now worst in the country in terms of growth of this virus and 117 deaths in one day. So what needs to be done is increase lab capacity so we get those test results quickly, put together a contact tracing plan and requirements in writing so that people know exactly what is required in that regard. And we need to do a, fast, a, a face mask mandate okay. 
immediately. Forget the politics. Do what's right for public health and for our families. And that's what I'm asking the governor and the state leadership to do right now. Okay, Congressman, thank you for your time. I, I hate to ask you yes or no. Do you think we should shut down even more? I think we need to take the steps that I just described so we don't have to shut down. Look, I hate this dichotomy of like you're either for public health or you're for the economy. Doing right by public health is what exactly is right to keep our economy going to the best of our ability. Public health and good economics go hand in hand. Congressman Greg Stanton, thank you for your time this morning. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.